Hi, I'm joined by Will Hastings, analyst at ARC Advisory Group. Will, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Chris. So, in your opinion, how would you say the perception of additive manufacturing has changed over the last couple of years? Um, that's a good question. Well, if we look back to around 2012, there was really a, a polarization in how people viewed additive manufacturing. And so there was either this group of people who thought it would solve everything and a group of people who thought it was really just all hype. And what we've seen over the past few years is, is everyone's really getting educated about what type of problems additive manufacturing can really solve. And so not only are people being educated, um, but they're also understanding that additive manufacturing is simply another tool within the manufacturer's tool set. And so the same way that if you have a nail and a stud that you want to drive in, you open your toolbox and you pull out a hammer. Well, with additive manufacturing, that's, that's just another tool in the toolbox. But the complication is trying to understand what that nail is. And that's, that's a much more complex question. And it's something that, that companies are trying to understand. What, what is the nail in our manufacturing operations that additive manufacturing can really drive home? So where do you see the market going in the next five plus years? Um, so we actually just did a study on atom manufacturing, uh, and what we've seen is uh, an expectation of, of tremendous growth over the next five years. So from a uh, revenue perspective from the supplier end, uh, we're seeing double-digit growth year over year um, across the industry. Uh, and we're also seeing a lot of adoption, not only in added manufacturing for product development, but added manufacturing for creating um, end products, especially in the aerospace and defense industry and the power generation industry. So what are the key benefits that are driving you know, this increased adoption? So the, the primary benefit is definitely the flexibility of additive manufacturing, not only in the ability to create products um, basically with the click of a button after they've been designed, but also the flexibility to design geometries that are otherwise um, not manufacturable with standard manufacturing procedures. Um, the other added benefit is that with additive manufacturing, you can create um, uh, assemblies that at one point were made of say 19 components that now can be made as a single component. And so this makes assembly stronger, but it also uh, makes it so you can skip through um, uh, your supply chain and, and just make a product right on site. And so that's a very, very powerful tool within atom manufacturing. Great, thank you for sharing your insights today. Thank you for having me. This is Chris Kinane coming to you from ARC Advisory Group's Orlando Forum. Thank you for watching. <laughs>